Hey, what's up, Gemini? This is Jacqueline with Universal Intuition. What's up, you guys? Um, feeling good. I just was meditating on y'all's energy, and I'm like, I'm feeling good. Um, so anyways, guys, this is going to be your end of November uh, general reading for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, I hope everyone's doing really well. Thank you all again for all of your support. Um, thank you, those of you, those of you who have been donating, um, reaching out and leaving sweet comments, um, subscribing, uh, liking sharing all that good stuff thank you thank you thank you so much um and if you're looking for a personal reading i don't have any more for the rest of november but i do have a list already going for december if you'd like to get on the list um it, you know it's going to be a little bit um of a waiting period because they're not going to happen until december um but i do have a list already going so if you're interested in a personal i do have some slots available um so yeah just send me an email it's going to be in the in the description box below all right, and I have a new deck I'm working with here. Um, I really like it. It's the Angel Angel Tarot deck. And or Angel Tarot card deck. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, it's by Radley Valentine. And I just love them. I just love them. So we're going to do a little overview here with this deck. And then I'll go back with my other deck and kind of break it down. All right, this is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your end of November reading. I feel like saying ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh. Y'all been feeling pretty good lately. I like it. Y'all have been on the ups, right? We just need one more, Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. End of November, please. All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on with you guys. Spirit, what message do we have for Gemini? This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. End of November. This is a general read, you guys. Messages don't resonate. Make sure you check out your, your moon sign, um, moon rising, and, and or your Venus sign if you're interested in more of a love, a love thing here. That's what I'm saying, Gemini. Feeling it, feeling it. Ten of water, a.k.a. ten of cups. Love it. Love it. I was already feeling on top of the world for you guys. I was like, something's great coming for Gemini. Duh. <laughs> All right. Ten of, uh, ten of water or ten of cups in a traditional deck. Uh, over feeling, over feeling, fe feeling um, emotional, uh, overjoyed. Um, I stumble on my words when I have like so many messages. I'm like, I say like weird things. Um, but just that like feeling complete, feeling, um, you know, just feeling satisfied, feeling like you've, you've really come to the end of the line, but like the, but then there's so much more. It's like, it, it's kind of that feeling of this is the first day of the rest of my life. Or this, you know, like even by like meeting someone or having that fulfillment within yourself, it's that feeling of this is so good, but you know it's still just the beginning, even though we're at the 10. But because it's such, it's such a great feeling, right? <laughs> okay, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships, exactly. All 10 cups are full. Everyone's feeling good, feeling fine, feeling fresh feeling all the stuff, feeling so good. And what better way and better time than right now, coming into the end of the year, holiday season. I just feel like I just see you guys going out, being with friends, having great times with friends, family, your loved one, just everything is on point, right? Gemini, I love it. Who are you? Seven of air, seven of swords, seven of swords. Okay, this is about Plans that need revision, more going on than meets the eye, more 
going on than meets the eye. Poor timing. So I feel like this is an internal, um, like a fear card here with the seven of air or seven of swords. You know, this is more of like um, just a fear-based card here. I feel like what's really going on is the ten of is the ten of cups. But with the seven of air, this is about you know some sneaky energy. I feel like um, that more more going on than what meets the eye. I feel like that is some other people around you. For some of you, it could be you or like you've you've been having to tiptoe tiptoe around a couple of people or a couple situations, you know. But like I feel like your reward after coming out of that energy is ten of water. Everything really working out in your favor, Gemini. So this is this is a, uh, the with the seven of of swords here this is about moving past that feeling of um having to like not be yourself or having to be sneaky around someone or people being sneaky around you or that kind of feeling so but i feel like you're we're releasing that and we're coming out of that energy and really tapping into the true happiness i feel like some of you have gotten like just really good news recently or have met someone really great in your life that you just see so much potential um in them or that sort of thing okay let's keep going Now that I say that, I do know a Gemini that got some good news. <laughs> I have to laugh because what could be more better than these cards? Well, other cards too, but, but, but these are pretty dang good. Pretty dang good. So I had to do the switch off because we're, I'm going to just, this is just an overview for these. Alrighty, page of fire with the nine of water page of wands with the nine of cups <clears throat> excuse me y'all know what i'm gonna say y'all know what i'm gonna say about the nine of cups it's your make a wish card it really is these are dreams coming true really coming out of the difficult time of like the i'm sweating it i'm sweating it energy and then you just get a beautiful reward here not only was the ten of, of cups beautiful but now you've back you're backing it up with the nine of cups and the page of uh, fire the page of wands okay so this is definitely someone very passionate this is the beginning for some of you this is about a relationship and someone new coming into your life that you've been kind of like secretly wishing and hoping like okay i think this could be the one or this could be someone that i really see potential with like could we have a, a oh my hands itching i feel like y'all got money too like y'all are doing good in your career got a promotion like this is like all the stuff all the stuff gemini all the stuff but what I was saying back over here, I have so many messages. Um, but what I was saying back over here with the page of, of fire, like this is about you, you two, or someone coming into your life that either has a lot of fire energy, could be a Leo Sagittarius um, or Aries, doesn't have to be, but they just have a lot of fire in them. And they just, y'all are very passionate. I feel like this is a mutual energy also between the two of you. Like you have a lot of passion and drive towards one another. And it's your wish. You've been wanting this. It's like you've been really looking at this person in a different light and they and they feel that way about you too, you know? And so maybe that's what the seven of air was about for some of you of, of like, well, I'm, I'm just trying to take it slow. I'm trying to, you know, just make sure I don't talk about any of like the, the harsh stuff at the beginning of this relationship or it's just so fresh. I don't want to mess anything up like that kind of feeling. But I feel like there's no like there's no no further need for that because you really truly are meeting someone special and for those of you that this is not about love this is just about a completion of of you of you just feeling so on top of the world even this this could absolutely also be page of fire with the nine of war this could be someone in your work life that you are connecting with and you are um truly just being happy with where you are in your career or in a family situation you know these are general readings so however this resonates for you and if this doesn't resonate and all resonate at all um please just make sure you're watching your mood rising and or venus uh videos okay so let's read the cards <laughs> haven't even read the cards yet okay page of fire outgoing creative confident mischievous exactly there's been a little bit of a mystery going on here <clears throat> it says news of an exciting new endeavor use your originality and ingenuity i love it Got that passion, this is something new. Pages are about something new. Could be about young people, sure. Could be about a child or 
someone in their adolescence, like teenager into their 20s. Um, but I really am feeling this is a mutual energy, meaning like this is like the beginning of something. You're at the page stage. Like you're not quite at the king and queen, but you're at the page because you got to start somewhere, right? Love it. And then we have the nine of water, nine of cups. Your wish comes true. Your wish comes true. You, 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 your wish. Concerns fade away. A love of life. Exactly. Being so content and happy with yourself, with where you're going, giving yourself congratulations and recognition of what, of how amazing that you're doing. <clears throat> and excuse me. And then that's mirroring the 10. And then like once you're at the nine, you're like, woo, I'm doing good. Look at me. I'm a Gemini doing all the stuff. And then it's like, boom. And then you're like upgraded to the 10, uh, 10 of cups. Come on, Gemini, <laughs> leave some for the rest of us. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm so happy for y'all. Truly, truly. All right, <clears throat> let's do a couple quick shuffles here. And let's, uh, let's get some more messages from Spirit. What do we have for my beautiful Geminis? This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Two more shuffles, guys. One more. This is for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for end of November. Where is the time gone? Whoa. Had the heater on and now it just went off. Got all serious. <laughs> okay. All right, Spirit, what other messages do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for end of November, please? Oh, Chino's back there. He wanted to say what's up to the Geminis. Spirit, what other messages do we have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please? Four of Cups here. Four of Cups. So exactly. I feel like, you know, usually this card is about um, almost missing an opportunity here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Being focused on these other three cups down here um, and like to where you can't see what Spirit is offering you. But I feel like you guys have been really good about paying attention and trying to come out of some sneaky energy or just some like past energy of, you know, feeling down or like reminiscing about old, you know, old love relationships or just any situations that have you feeling emotional. Um, it could be family, friends, career, it could be anything like that. Um, and this is like almost a card of like, of, of uh, in some cases missing it, but I feel like right now y'all are not missing that cup. Like y'all are just like, oh, like you barely, you're just like, oh, okay, there it is. Because we've gone from the nine, nine of cups to the 10 of cups. And like, that's where you get the one more cup, you know, and this is the ace of cups that's being handed here to you. You know, it's like, it's like the ace of cups being added to your nine of cups to make the 10. I can do math guys. I can, I can. I'm usually really horrible at math, but I can add nine and one. Okay. I can do that. Let's see. All right, we have some Five of Swords energy, Five of Swords, mental energy, right? Um, cl the clouds are clearing for you. Okay, we've got the Page of page of Wands here. Someone, again, to, now this is coming up twice because we had the Page of Fire up here, which is the Page of Wands, and now it's they're showing their face again, okay? And we have the Queen of Wands, so I feel like there is an upgrade. Gemini, look what I have for you. I have your own card. I have your own lovely, be beautiful, gorgeous card, Gemini. We've got the lovers here. We've got the lovers card. Some of you really are falling in love this month or by the end of the month going into December. This is so beautiful, so beautiful. And we have the nine of wands. 
taking a look and being proud of what you've worked for exactly like looking back on all of this that you're at the nine you're like looking back on all of this and being like i am so proud of myself and to, to mention you do have two nines here so coming to a completion a fullness of, your, of yourself where you're at the 10 you're done right so we're at and you have the 10 of water here and that's like your that's your gift that is your um congratulations right so I feel like, you know, in the past with the seven of, of, of swords and then now we have the five, you know, this is about also there was a little bit of an aspect of your past here earlier in the month of, you know, really put everyone putting their swords down and just agreeing to just move on, walk away. Gemini, you might have still been on the defense a little bit here by not putting your swords fully down um, because I feel like you were a little bit hurt maybe in the past by someone else in their situation. Um, but again, let's talk about this page of wands here. And then we have the queen of wands. I'm just hearing like, like I just saw this up get upgraded real fast. Like, yeah, like I was saying earlier, you know, every relationship, whether this is romantic, whether this is a new best friend, someone a soulmate level, whether this is, you know, um, someone from work, but I just look back at the lover's card. This, I feel like for so many of you, please don't get mad that my general is going kind of into a love. Um, it just, you know, some people get upset about that, but I just can't help it. The cards fly how they fly. I can't help it. Um, but with the lover's card here, I just see like you guys starting off as like, hey, like I'm into you. What's up? Like there's something here. There's passion. There's a spark, um, a new endeavor. Like this is a new, this is someone brand new coming into your life, right? And then you decide to come together. You're like, ah. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, that's like what I was hearing. And it's just, you just like, like the clouds are partying and like, I don't know, there's like all this beautiful like rainbow light and y'all are just like, oh my God, like what, what, what? Okay. Like this is what we're supposed to be doing. Like I'm supposed to be with you. Like this is great. And then like y'all's mutual energy is y'all get upgraded. Like you skip being a knight. Like y'all just skip right over that part and y'all go straight to king and queen. Like I was saying earlier, you got to start somewhere. So y'all are starting off proper as showing up as pages, showing passion for one another, showing love for one another, showing interest. You know, it's like very exciting. It kind of happens very fast, right? And then it's like, whoa, now we're the king and queen. Like now we're upgraded to the queen. Like I see this as like an upgrade from the page of wands to the queen of wands, okay? Um, and what does the queen of wands do? She manifests. She gets whatever she wants because she knows how to do it. That beautiful fire energy, which is what you, um, Gemini, you're really tapping into that fire energy to really put some oomph into what you're doing, right? Really putting that spark and that, that, that boost, that boost from spirit, right? So I love it. I love it. I love it. And this is your reward. This is your reward. This is you, Gemini. Please take it in. This is gorgeous energy. This is so beautiful. The lovers with the 10 of cups. And this is something that you've always wanted. So I know, I know it's beautiful because you've got your make a wish card. So this is something that you've been, it's been in the back of your mind. You've been wanting it. You've been wishing for it. And now it's yours. Now it's yours. All right, let's pull a, um, one more card here for Gemini. This is going to be an angel card. Um, just a general message from spirit. What message does Gemini need to know right now? This is for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus <clears throat> for end of November. We just need one more Gemini. Love it. So beautiful. Time to create. Time to create your masterpiece. Time to create your life. This is the life you've always wanted. Step into it. Feel good about it. Congratulate yourself. Create. You're the creator. You're the creator and the maker of your own life. You have the power to put all of the pieces together. I know you do. So Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. <laughs> 
wow, 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 wow. Beautiful reading. I am so excited for you guys. Sending you all my love, all my support on your journey. Um, thank you again. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, Gemini. Love you to pieces. If you want a, a personal, I have a couple spots. Like I said, I have a couple spots left um, for December, okay? Uh, shoot me an email. It's in the description box below. Bye. See you in December.